Welcome back to the Hammerack Imperium, Seven Shades of Mercury. I feel like gold, whose territory we're in now, are probably going to keep their icon on the upper floor, right? It's less accessible that way. Unless I'm misunderstanding the map and it's just somebody else's territory on the, on the upper floor. <laughs> Let's check out their drafters, they're pretty cool. Maybe they hide some pretty cool loot, you never know. No, okay, but they might let us get up there. I hadn't actually noticed those windows. Somebody's nearby. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, do you wail and lash the cliff? Do you ask to reap for itself? Nay. Okay, so somebody patrols out there above the uh, above the thing. What is this room? Can I fit through? I want to say the answer is no. I mean, the answer is kind of maybe yes. Not clear if I can. It's definitely no. Uh, right, well, I managed not to hurt myself, so that's good. I managed not to attract attention. All right, let's go. Let's go out the door. The old-fashioned way. Silver. I'm expecting gold up here. Yeah, that's a silver. Hang on, I thought silver was doing the basement. Well, maybe he's maybe he's broken into the gold area. We should be upstairs in the gold area, right? Oh no, that's gold. It's just yellow lighting, I suppose. It's confusing me. What's that? Nothing. Acolytes, when you are when ye are alone in this room, do not place thine heads and appendages twixt my moving gears for sport. They are not the present, and as a new creation of the fellow Mure's art, feel quite unsafe. They have been known to crush bone. I know of this from the experience of the Protectorate's very strict enforcement of Academy regulations, and hath no wish to wash bloodstains from my carpet and elsewhere again, as it doth spurt wildly. I really like this being written over a scraped off uh, parchment. You can see the fragments of text underneath. It's very nice. But where are your dangerous gears? Oh, there. I see. Lights off is always a good option. Anybody leave anything in under their desks? Seems, seems the answer is no. Maybe the teacher did. I'll be, I'll be destroying the banners, but I don't have a sword, so... Summon for the day of St. Morgan, prepared by Father Bangor. Starting anecdote. Smile on face. Grab attention. I mind that when I was only the height of my knee, I won a competition at St. Hoticus's Cathedral for my ability to recite the names of all 80 holy books of the Master Builder. After that, Father Rodri played a game with me, where he would open a book and read a passage, and let me make a guess as to which book the passage was from. I wait until the polite laughter has time to subside. One passage struck me like no other, and it is one that is familiar to all here. Terror is thine enemy, and terror thy tool. The Builder is terrible, and we must harness that to strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. 
but the Builder is also compassion, as he hath no need to frighten those who follow him, and he draweth us against his warm bosom. Scratch through this, skip it, see thee below. One particular passage that is familiar to all ye here struck me. Terror is thine enemy, and terror thy tool. What other book could this passage come from? Who knows here? Audience participation, tis good. Indeed it is the book of St. Morgan, for today is his holy day, blessed be by the Builder. And who other would write such sobering words? For the Builder is indeed terrible, and we must thus harness that terror to strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. Enter the dramatic pause here. But the Builder is also compassion, for we are blessed in his company, and we must harness his blessings also, for there are ways to draw the unrighteous to the Builder, besides torture and pain. Who's there? No one. Rats should know better than to bear their teeth. That was close. Is someone there? Who else is coming in here? Got to get more than one guy coming on this patrol pass and entering in here. I thought nobody came in here, but they both just like ducked their head in. And I can't turn all the lights fully off. Well, that's really awkward. This hallway is it's patrolled by two people, it's gonna be very dangerous. I'm trying not to get caught and trying to avoid knocking people out where I can. Like outside in the snow is gonna do me a lot, it's gonna be a lot safer. Oh, that's an unfortunate disappearing object. I know somebody patrols out here, but uh, it's surely not. There's something written on the wall there, some plaques. There's actually a couple patrolling out here. Can I switch off the lamp? I cannot. I'm just going to switch the light on, is it not? No, it's off. That's good. Ah, and that was a lamp. Nice bed! Okay, so where are these patrols going? There was an archer and a swordsman. Where's the archer? I am Briggs, I am Mortar, I did Spencer to the heathen's daughter, to the high priest's daughter, I don't know, you could, you could make so many, uh, schoolboy rhymes there. What happened to the other guy who's drawing up here, is there a, I saw it's open in the center of the courtyard, is there a way down? Or maybe he just went out through that other door. Ah, okay. That's that's him. We can see where he goes, I suppose. I mean, it might not be him. I don't know how many go. Uh, this is marking three out here, right? Or maybe some of them are down below. It's it's hard to tell. Yeah. So that the top of that pillar is an object, and it was disappearing because it's the game considered it. Not to be rendered, which is yeah. based on its size. It's the game thinks it is. The game probably didn't think it was as big as it was because. Oh, he's got something on his. 
shall bring to what's that? Now then, he said something on this. Well, from VIP room one. Death is standing in my doorway. Death is knocking on my door. I refuse to simply listen. I refuse to just get up. Even though I know it's there, I will never shift myself. Death is knocking on my doorway. Death is walking through the door. Death is ever near my presence. Death has prophesied my toll. Nice artwork. Um, seems like uh, these hammerites have been... Uh, what was the guy who did the, uh, uh... The name is on the tip of my tongue. Ah, uh, can't remember. Did, did, uh, Dore, Gustav Dore. The hammer has been ripping him off. Death is knocking on my doorway. Let me in, it tells me then. I can already taste the smolder from the ashes on his shoulder, brought up all the way from hell. Just let go of all your troubles, take my hand and be reborn as entirely new someone, with no old memories at all. Spiders crawl up on my shoulder, far too heavy is the boulder hanging from my scrawny neck, growing ever distant, ever colder. Save me, builder, save my brothers, save us from the fear of death. Save us from the thieving thieves. Okay, I'll just the other side. PIP room two. Just lit. Let's fix that. Well, it's still slightly lit. Dear Brother Bergail, I write to thee again about Brother Poen, whose behaviour has gone too far and is not befitting of a comrade in the Builder's family. To regale thee with a brief anecdote about how my current situation came to pass. I was at the seminar with Brother Poen some weeks ago when he just called my attention to a passage from the Hammer Book of Tenets, which read, The Builder's children must be chiselled as stone without need for pleasure or warmth, so that they may take their place as mighty pillars in the Builder's temple. Brother Poen considered that we should go forego the pleasures of this world so that we might better praise the Builder. I congratulated him on his proper interpretation of the text and told to him the story of our beloved father Brifo, who rests now in the graveyard beside this building. The father did take it upon himself to suffer for the Builder's glory, drinking only tea that was stone cold to the touch, tying heavy hammers around his weary ankles and eating his most hated garlic every morning so that the taste would haunt his breath throughout the day. Indeed, he did pass away in what is now the room reserved for very important people, lying upon a deathbed of coldest stone. Brother Poen listened in wonder to this tale, and declared that he himself should make such sacrifices for the builder. He probably made us two stone-cold mugs of tea, which I drank in good spirits. However, since then, his behaviour has become increasingly erratic. He has pub publicly attempted to wrestle hot mugs of tea from my hand, and arriveth every morning at my door with identical pairs of heavy hammers, that our ankles may thus be burdened the rest of the day. I have only managed to escape this misery at breakfast, as I quite enjoy the taste of garlic. Whilst I cannot blame him for his enthusiasm, I feel that all personal matters should be kept to the person's own conscience. I pray thee do settle this matter with Brother Poen, or I shall surely be sleeping on a bed of hot nails before this year is at its end. Builder keep thee, Brother Sizer. Don't worry, Brother Sizer. Hot nails would be far too comfortable. You'll be sleeping on ice cold nails, as the builder demandeth. Okay, the archer should be coming by just at any moment now. That sounds like him. You know, we could get a broad here. Mm -hmm. Three, in fact. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to pick this guy's pocket too, so the timing's not terrible. Yeah, the arch is not going to be able to see us. Now, if we're quick, we can get this guy's... Whatever this guy's carrying and get back into the shadows. Before anyone notices. What's that? And the builder said, 
It's the foundation of weak food, whale, and national Okay, well, what's he got? We sure pulled a fast one on those white team morons, didn't we? Jumping them while they were infiltrating and grabbing the team icon was a breeze. We've got it locked up and tucked away in the restricted secure library. However, our struggle is far from over. Purple still has the library, and Blue is looking for trouble in the basement areas. At least Red seems to be content to remain on the defensive for the moment. Perhaps because they know Silver and Black teams are backing them? After Blue and Purple have been crushed, we'll plan our next move. Also, thanks to Father Bangor, our relic is safe from theft. It looks like his office hosts more than just nice frescoes. Trans. Okay, Father Bangor's office. Um, should have gold icon. Gold icon. Father Bangor. And white library. Secure room. Anything else? Purple has a library, yeah. Restricted secure library. That's weird, because the name. The Purple has a library, but he suggests that. Uh... Oh, I saw a doorway over here and thought I should go check out this doorway, but this doorway is just where I came from. It's an archway, in fact, not a doorway. Bursa. Oops. Master's Observation Lounge. Hmm. Ah, this is this room. Aren't they supposed to be watching the show here, watching what's going on? Or just this is just to observe the teaching, I suppose. Quiet. Shivan. We know Garrett is a clumsy elf, but you don't have to mimic him in that respect. Nice chairs. Can we hear footsteps outside? I think that's the archer again. Oh wow, that's a nice window. Okay, this is an office. But it has another door, so possibly someone... ...might come through, unless this is like, this is the secretary's... ...room. And the bursar's office is the other side. No? Office of the Dean. Entry by appointment only. Let the builder strike me down where these stand. Do not enter without approval slip from the bursar's desk. Well, we have none. So I'm going to have to risk the wrath of the builder, I'm afraid. He has no switch of the lights. Well, as long as nobody comes in here, the lack of a light switch should be no problem. Dear Brother Benedict, I report to thee on our findings from the excavations under the Academy Library. As thou knowest, the library was purportedly built on the site where the great precursor academic, Alhamun, was martyred and buried a thousand years ago. At first the excavation went well. We found what seems to have been a sparsely furnished burial chamber, and even a book of strange backward scribbling. Unhappily, the bones found within the tomb were, without doubt, those of a small cat. As is usual, when we find it not the bones which we seeketh, we merely place them on display as relics in any event. The pilgrim seemeth not to notice. But cat bones? Either we claim that he was rather smaller man than the marble Opalina would have us believe, or we discover his bones elsewhere, 
Methinks this must be must need to be a job for one of thy young acolytes. A tally, a graveyard, and a shovel. Humbly the builder's servant, Ponticus, master of relics. Uh, okay, so catacombs, uh, you know, excavations under the library might be worth noting. Maybe it's successful, maybe it's not. Uh, either way, we don't, I don't think we need to carry that note with me. In fact, I think I should have been dropping some of the other notes I had, right? Uh, well, that was actually relevant to our goals here. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't have, don't have too much inventory clutter. Alright, this is looking out on the cemetery. Let's see. Unless they're hiding secret doors, which I have no real reason to suspect. Okay, so I probably want to go in the door that our other friend. Pull us around. I love the lecture room doors open. I was careless, but not. Probably not. Dangerously so. Ah, this one does not have a sign, but I have been in here. Oh, yeah, we've got this guy patrolling. I probably want to follow his path. Is there anything in the. Courtyard, it doesn't look like there is. I should probably check it out to be certain, but... Just wait for uh, a sword fellow to emerge. Uh, but the archer might, might turn up too soon. Well, we have a retreat into this room if we need be, I suppose. Patience, we won't win the game by rushing. Vastly outnumbered. Probably outsmarted at every corner as well. I mean, they already outsmarted us once, so my white team can't be too clever, right? I didn't even notice before that he had a first on him. Good, good, good. Anyway, that's good timing. They're both, they're both bunched up. What kind of floor is there in there? Noisy. Oh, not too noisy, actually. He was not clacking. Is someone there? I am the building right, the bathroom. One more water arrow. No, several more water arrows. Okay. Whose room is this? Magister's office. Well, we can pick this lock. White team may mostly be as as useless as the bones whose colour they share, but does not count. Does not apply to me. Oh, that is valuable. Terms one to five of the master builder's hymns as approved by Emperor Galium himself, dated seven six four to eight nine nine. Builder curse anyone who reads my diary, for it is only for mine eye, mine own eyes and his. I become increasingly concerned with Master Forger Igwell's interpretation of the texts. Do not the words, the truth is in the Builder only, question not his schemes, mean that we should remain unknowing of the Builder's plan only, and work to better ourselves as the simple instructions found in the Book of Nail doth specify? But Master Forger Igwell doth seem to interpret the texts to set himself above all others, as part of the Builder's scheme, and allows none to question his motivations, even when they seem to go contrary to the holy books themselves. 
Yet I see that his congregation is full and I am heartened by it. These acolytes often stay in bed far past the breaking of dawn. It is better to serve the builder erroneously than to not serve him at all. I must not begrudge the methods of my betters, for I have no say in them. I must simply pray that the builder guides their actions. I grow afraid of the room I reserved for very important people on the second floor. Oft I have been given the task of cleaning this place, and even though none have used it, I have found it disturbed on many occasions. The sheets of the bed still warm as if a sleeping body just lie there. Stranger still, when I pour myself a warm cup of tea in that room and bring it to my lips, I find it to be cold as stone. Mayhap I shall call upon one of my elders to help dispel the wicked spirit from the room as it doth linger early like mist, all like early mist, and hath a faint smell of garlic, strangely. That's a creature, it's the ghost. It's the ghost of the hammer ankle guy they buried in the graveyard. I wonder if that signifies anything further in there, that perhaps... Perhaps his bones were not removeth fully from there. Alright, well, let's... Wait for his, him to pass by. But now it makes me want to go back to the very important room, which is, of course, nearby. It's just a lair. And search maybe for secrets. What's this one, right? Yes. The one that was the thing about death, surely it's this one. I mean, there is no. There's one candle that's lit. You can jump on the bed. You could try putting out, dousing the candle to see if it maketh any difference. There's really not many places to hide a switch. Well, there will. A secret in this room. Well, that is all. We have two chandeliers next to the, in each other. Are they wood? Probably not. Let's just let's. Whoop, that's not. That's not rope. No. Didn't. I mean, they should be wood, but they didn't look like they could count as wood. If I stand on here... Let's see if I can maybe... maybe... Let's try and avoid making noise for a minute. Let's footsteps go by in the snow. Oh, that wasn't a jump. Not sure why this thing is so hard to jump on. Oh, I see. Because the uh, thing in front of me is actually very. Uh... Yeah, it does not seem like I can jump onto it. Um. Well, maybe I should conclude there is nothing hidden here. Maybe it is the other room? Probably not. Maybe I just tried dousing the candle. I can waste one of these. Does not change the behavior of the thing at all. Why would it? This is just my paranoia. So you see, there could be a hidden room in there. Ah, oh, there is. There is sword man. Oh wait, that's both of them. Lock and beam. Chase these gold assholes from my sight. Doesn't rhyme, but it's 
security. Security is no longer secure. All right, this is interesting. Uh, we can... Disable something. Do we have any notes on what gold team has? Oh, this is the... It's, where's, that, where's that note I picked up? Blah, 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 blah. Something about secure library, right? Restricted secure library, presumably. That's the security for the... Um, for the library? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Master... There are some things office. Master dare not speak his name's office. Father Bangor's office. Now this is good one. This is hiding something to care about, right? Shit. Oh, this is the library. I need a dark corner. I need a dark corner where he won't be walking towards me. It's not very good. This is probably all right. This is better. Very nice library. Before him on a breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with a mind of a general and the heart of a poet. Yet also the hand of a builder. Is there more than one on this patrol route? They just seem to come by at a higher rate than I would have expected. Alright, so Father Bangor. Oops, I was trying to close the door. Uh, and stole something from his desk. Well, you know, it's fine. I would have taken it anyway. Father Bangor, I have reviewed the opening of thy sermon, and do think thou treadest the wrong path. Sin Morgan was a man of war, and such an event as his holy day should be used to promote lust for victory and the clashing of many hammers. The Builder is compassionate, yes, but this is a sermon for a spring day in a land of peace, not our finest academy. I do fear that thou art becoming blunt in thine old age. Delete the final sentence and continue from the point of... For the Builder is indeed terrible, and we must harness that terror that we may strike fear into the heart of our enemies. I shall review the rest of thy sermon when thou art finished. Master Forger Eidwald. Okay, so what did- what was- what did I write? Gold icon in Father Bangor's office. That's what the note says, told us, right? Thanks to Father Bangor, our relic is safe from theft. Looks like his office hosts more than just nice frescoes. Does he have any- Secrets hiding in his bookcase? Nay. Maybe there's a safe hidden behind the, uh, the nice fresco. Yeah, there's a guy coming past already. They really do come by quite frequently. There must be two of them on that patrol road. Maybe not, but I don't know. Well, I saw something, and the word went before him on a breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with a mind to be Does he have any kind of hidden switches? I mean, where would he be hiding them? But. Surely they did not note that down in vain. Let's climb, let's ascend to the roof and check the top of the bookcase. No, it does not look like anything be it there. Or at least I suppose I should have I should be talking like a hammerite for this whole thing, right? What about above this painting? I mean there's there's got to be something. I 
mean, his office doesn't have any frescoes in it. That's... Nice, nice light fixture. So what is up? And we can mark this on the map, right? Maybe. We're kind of up here. Or up here. I guess it's up here. Okay, so this is like... Balabangor. Second floor. If his office is hiding something, how, and what, and where? Ah, there is a switch there that I could not see. I see, there it is. That's the problem with super hidden switches, is you end up just probing blindly and it's kind of silly. Oh, hello. Theodicium mine? Nine of them. What is a Theodicium mine? Maybe this will sell me. Here are the Theodicium mines, as per our agreement. I'm sorry, but these are very expensive, so sadly I cannot provide you with more. These will aid your team against the Silvers, as I found out that they're wearing heavy metal armor that makes them impervious to gas and ordinary knockout attacks. Instructions on the use of the Theodicium Mines. Place the Theodicium Mine on the floor. The mines field magnetizes it to the ground. You won't be able to pick it up again, so think well before putting each one down. Insert the power node Theodicium Mine trigger. Anyone wearing heavy metal armor within a distance of six elbows will be instantly fried and knocked out by a powerful electrical discharge. Yes, that's right, six elbows distance is very short, but these are just prototypes, so you'll have to get pretty close to each silver acolyte to activate the Theodicium Mind on them. Warning, do not touch anything with the power nodes, Theodicium Mind triggers, as it will instantly disrupt the delicate systems and they will be wasted. Essentially, the mines use the magnetic, magnetic field of the Earth itself for their discharge. That is why they must be perfectly still on the ground when activated. Imagine in the future, massive cities might be powered by this great technology. Or even better, huge armies of armored enemies will be fried in one explosive blast. Praise the Builder, lads. Okay, so do I have those separately? No, it's... Oh, yeah, power notes. Yeah, this is mine trigger. It's just between things. Okay, so we do have a way now of dealing with the silvers. And some loot, and the gold team icon itself. Oh. Well, that's a way out. I don't know if it would have been a way in. But I know where that is. We've been there. Not sure if I'm going to make noise coming off this desk, so I'm going to wait till the footsteps in the hallway recede. Alright, so that is, I guess, we don't need that uh, information anymore. Master's Library, not the General Library. An unlawful man treats a beast like a breadcrumb only to see his fortune crumble, for he doth not labour long at it. The Builder taught us how to toil, receive and savour the crumb, and treat it as a beast. Praise the Builder for his divine knowledge that doth give strength to our legions. Tome 2, verse 14, Michelini, Imperial Headmaster of Mar Master Architect Alexius. I didn't even realize I could turn that off before, so... We made it easier to sneak through here. I don't know. Oh! No? Oh, okay. A floor in the gear will fate it to shatter. A floor in the beam harbors the termite. A floor in a man's righteousness encompasseth his death. 
A flaw in the balance of power bring us war. A flaw in mankind's unity will shatter the world. Prophecies of the Dead Man, Volume 3, Passage 1. And some of them also made it into the Hammer Book of... Blah, blah, blah. What was it? Precepts, principles and rules of conduct or something? Somebody's coming, I think. Well, I mean, I know who they are, but I don't know if they're coming exactly now or not. Hang on. It should also behooves me to not buy a gas arrow to the ceiling. And to check the tops of bookcases. Never really knows whether, you know, stray valuables might get left recklessly. Top of bookcase. Well, it seemeth not. And perched up a rope. Oh, so you're talking about somebody else. I thought he'd seen me. I have the heart of a poet and the mind of a general. Or was it the other way around? I keep them both in my pockets. Oh, it just goes straight out. Master's library, restricted secure library. Okay. It's not even locked. This should be where our icon is being kept. And the builder saith, but live not in dens like the animals of the wild. Thou art not an animal. Lift up thine head and walk proudly among the beasts of the forest. For thou art a beast. Oh wait, no. Hearken unto me, I give thee the holy hammer and the holy chisel. Thou shalt tame the trees and stones to do thy bidding in all things. To walk upon the water, shelter thee from the rain and, and wind and cold of winter. Mould the course of rivers and bringeth change to the face of the earth that thou shalt be master of all. This, my children, I give with my blessing. Raise up from the dust and dirt of thy shame and follow my guidance in all things. Raise towers to my greatness and shape the face of the earth to my liking. Bless the hammer and chisel, for they are the map to thy destiny. Respect the stone and wood, and offer unto them the same reverence thou givest me. Use not the rotten stone or decayed wood, but in thy building remove from them these defects, however small, that they may serve thee and me. Go, my children, and fail not in thy endeavours, nor in thy hearts. Mine eyes shall see all, let not my teachings fall upon deaf ears. For thou shalt surely perish from the earth in the release of my wrath. Be thou not faithful, and hearken unto me. The Divine Word of the Master Builder, Tome 4, Volume 1. Dear Father Bangor, it hath recently come to my attention that a dangerous underground sect hath formed in the Excantium Academy of Talia, under my very nose. These children of heathens do call themselves the angels of the Master Builder, and delighteth in subverting our teachings with their vile propaganda. As repugnant as the idea seemeth, the only possibility is that the students themselves are behind this loathsome movement. Their minds are as yet in a dangerous phase, both clever and calculating as adults, yet idealistic as children. They knoweth nothing of the trials of age, the responsibilities, and hath not yet come to understand that but tis the Builder's infinite wrath that keepeth this world in order. We must be the tools that forgeth these young men in the Builder's desired image. It is of vital import that this insidious spreading of peace and mercy throughout our academy be brought to an end at once. It is now thy duty to track down the members of this pernicious sect. The price for possessing one of these pamphlets shall be scalding. Any person found to be handing out any brochures, instructions, posters and so on will have that offending hand removed. Allow not this plague to reach beyond the academy walls. I know I cast count on thee, father. Let me not down. May the builder keep thee, Master Forger Eyeball. He does seem to be very keen on militancy, doesn't he? Crumpled pamphlet. The angels of the Master Builder want you. We are pro-life. Every year thousands of undead are massacred by holy water, and their souls banished by exorcism. We demand a stop to this callous brutality now. 
Our undead brethren have shown themselves more than capable of carrying out such simple tasks as waiting tables, being tables, and retrieving unexploded munitions. We, the Angels of the Master Builder, call on Master Forger Ipsit Alane, secretary for the re-deadening of the undead, to answer our cause. Because another way of saying undead is alive. We are anti-severing. Recently a law has been passed by the Emperor allowing the severing of limbs that would previously have been scalded. Severing part of a prisoner's body means he will not be able to get a job and he will become a beggar. It is obvious that crime is at its highest within the poorer classes. Severing creates repeated offenders. Bring back, bring back scalding now. Well, that is an interesting pamphlet indeed, isn't it? Uh... I would have put this one first. Because this one is like, okay, this is the demand, blah blah blah, yeah yeah, and then... Oh yes, we are against destroying the undead, because they're good at, they're good at waiting tables and being tables. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Really good, I like it. Thou dost make thyself strong, not by winning easy battles, but by forging thyself anew in the fires of a great crusade against heretics, who doth oppose the divine law of the Master Builder. Let not thy spirit fail, Legionnaire, for the time of glory is near. Term 2, verse 27, Michelini, Imperial Headmaster of Master Architect Alexius. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm just stand on this to look like that, I think. <laughs> How much loot dost thou hast in there? 1750 I'm carrying. Oh no, that's the white team icon. Okay. Oh, that's why we have lockpicks above the door. That's our that's our logo. Thought I saw something up there, but no, it's just a pattern. Okay, somebody was just walking by, so I need to be careful about making clacking noises on the floor while that might while they might be within a shot. Ah! This periscope! Oh, that would have absolutely caught me out. That would have absolutely caught me out. That's the security that we turned off. And there's an alarm button. Okay, I... Succeeded in here by fluke, I guess. Okay, and then that's going back out. Alright, so we're done on this upper level. We've got the... Our icon back. We've got the gold team icon back. I'm kind of tempted to search this room again, but... I think if there is a secret there, it will have to wait. So... Where do I go now? Grand Library is to the west. I think I can take that light that uh, off now. Because uh, gold, blue, purple. Right, we don't have a we don't have a marking of our icon, so I didn't know what it looked like. But okay, that was it. I'll see the cross lock picks. Questions: Can can I get down here without taking damage? Perhaps. Alright, so we do want to go west, but I guess we want to explore... It's got to be side rooms up here with more loot, right? We need more loot. It's a requirement, not just a wish, but it's a wish as well. This guy has some loot for us. How's does this one? Huh? 
100 each. Beautiful, okay. So I know they're both patrolling the uh, ground floor. We came across them before. Right, we were looking at their storage room. That's gotta be the storage room there. So what have we got in this rooms? Dormitory, okay. No light switch? Can't turn off the lights in a dorm? How do they sleep? Perhaps they don't. Perhaps they lie in bed reciting the hymns of the Master Builder. Make sure nobody's in here while we're uh, looking around. Did you drop anything in the showers? Seems not. Noticed all first year acolytes. Whilst we at the Imperium realized our elation at receiving thy first hammers, rules must be enforced. As such distinction must be noted between a fellow acolyte's head and a nail. They are the most assuredly not the same thing. As well, pray thee repress the urge to test the power of thy mallets on certain items, such as the headmaster's pure gold inkwell and several priceless statuettes in the High Chapel. Please use restraint. Groundskeeper Mortis hath become quite irate. Well, I mean, you know, if the only tool you have is a hammer. It's the only tool you've given them. That opens the wrong way for me. So they're going to go out into the courtyard again, right? Quietly here. Oh, that's the stairs up. Oh no, that's the uh, lecture room. The same one we've been in, isn't that? So that's the southeast corner. Right, yes, that makes sense, because that's the door we went in from the cemetery. We didn't have a compass, so that's one of ours in there. That's why I didn't know which floor it was. What are we here? Does the builder that did tell us as we lived in forests roofless, as we struggled with damp wood and fang of beast and trickster's law, build with brick, my dear people, and build me a mighty steeple. For this task I give thee tools, and yet again the mighty oars. What to do, we asked the builder, with these mighty oars? Build a steeple for my glory, nothing more. Myself stuck on a pillar. Can go quietly. The sound is carrying. Hopefully, far. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet. He's also with the hands of a good. He will lift us up from this darkness. They're not coming down here, are they? Maybe they are. What's that? Someone there? Come out to fight! I'll find you. 
Dang it. Let's just hide here. A moment, oh, there was a light switch. They all forget they heard the footsteps soon enough. I hope. Oh god, everybody's uh. Alerted. I do see lots of gold on this table, but that's. Okay, so somebody patrols this way as well. Because I wasn't sure, like, I think they were coming down the stairs. I'm not sure though, there's, there's a lot of, there's... Well, one or two searching for me, those, those two patrolling past. I do not know how many gold my team members there are around. Too many for my liking. Too many. Right, they do not seem to be searching this room. Okay, I'm not searching this room. I can, uh... <sighs> obtain some souvenirs. In relative safety. Searching out there for me? Not here, this is like a cold storage room. I'm curious as to why the sound seemed to be coming from the left. Or maybe maybe they're upstairs and I'm hearing the sound coming through the chimney. Hello. That could indeed be the case. Oh, I could go up the Oh, hello, there is a secret passage there. Wow, this is, that's actually like... Uh, I'm amused. Oh, I'm amused. That it's like a bookcase back. Have I been there? not been in this room. Interesting. Must be a switch in this room somewhere. Mm -hmm. I thought I had explored this entire upper area. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm facing south. This might be part of the Grand Library. This must be Purple's area. No, that's that's gold. Okay. So there's more in gold zone I had not explored. I suppose. My mistakes. So there must be a switch on this side as well. I would like to find it. Maybe it's maybe it's extremely well hidden. Seem to hide this, which is very well in this map. Even the ones you know have to be there. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can just leave the door open. It doesn't. In that sense, it doesn't matter. 
All right. Well, let's leave it. Leave the. Forget the switch. Let's try not to be brightly lit. And um, I guess we've got a little more looting to do on this floor before we leave the gold zone. But that will be next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.